Hello, my hair family. I'm Jace, a personal trainer and fitness and lifestyle coach for 20 plus years. I'm here to help you with your road to recovery from hernia surgery. I know exactly what it's like because January 25th, 2019, I was exactly in your shoes. Also, I understand that not all hernias, surgeries, or individuals are the same. So I'm just providing you with a guideline of what you can try to do movement-wise to help you recover. Now at any time, if you feel lightheaded, dizzy, nauseous, or have pain you can't tolerate, please just stop and sit or even lay down. Now, like any exercise, these movements are designed to push you a little bit out of your comfort zone. So it's okay to feel a bit of discomfort. Okay, enough talking. And with that said, let's get to our first session. Make sure that you have an arm's width of space around you that's clear and let's go. So the first thing we're gonna do are vacuums. So we're gonna put the hands on the belly button. You're gonna take a deep breath in through your nose. Suck your belly button in as much as you're comfortable. And then breathe out through the mouth. Good. Next, let's bring the feet a little wider apart. The hands on the hips, and we'll do some hip circles. So go as far as you're comfortable, and really focus on trying to turn your pelvis. And just keep it nice and slow. side as far as you're comfortable and then go to the other side.
Okay, good. So next we're gonna do a reach up and bend. So we're gonna do a bit of a squat again. So you're gonna squat down a little bit, and now you're gonna reach up with one arm. So you really wanna feel more of a stretch through the side. And then come back down and go to the other side. Okay, next we're gonna do some marching on the spots. So try to get your knees up as high as you're comfortable and try to keep good posture so your chest is up. Okay, good. And next we'll do some step backs. So you're gonna have your hands on your hips and you're gonna keep all your weight on your front leg. You're gonna step back. So step back, making sure that you keep all your weight on your front leg and push back or press back up with that front leg and then alternate legs. Okay, good. And next we'll do some heel lifts. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna bring the heels up towards your glutes or as far as you're comfortable and just alternate sides. Okay, good. Uh, next, well, let's do the squat and reach again. So I'm gonna have you squat down and then reach up. Okay, good. And one more time, let's go back to the step backs. So hands and hips, and step back. Okay, good. So now we're gonna do some stretches. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna stretch out the hip flexor. So we're gonna have one foot forward, one foot back. You wanna stay as tall as you're comfortable. You can put your hands on your hips. And then from there, you're gonna lift up the chest and push your hip forwards. And you should feel a stretch through the hip flexor there. And we're just gonna hold this. Okay, good. Now let's switch sides. So remember to stay nice and tall, as tall as you're comfortable. And then from there, push your hip forwards.
next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna stretch out the hamstrings. So it's gonna look very similar to the hip flexor stretch. We're gonna have one foot forward, one foot back. Make sure that both your toes are pointing forwards. And from here, you wanna keep the back leg straight, press your heel down into the floor, and then from there, you wanna lean forwards. Notice I'm bending with that front leg and my hands are on my leg, so let's give myself support. And I feel that nice stretch through the back leg. Good, nice and slow back up. Okay, and we'll switch sides. So back leg, heel presses down into the floor, leg is straight, and lean forwards from there. See, we're going to do a stretch for the chest and shoulders. So we're going to clasp the hands behind you. And then make sure you try to stay as tall as you can. And from there, bring the arms up as high as you're comfortable. Good. Nice and slow. Bring it back down. So that's it for today. You will get better as the days pass. Just remember to take short walks also throughout the day and drink lots of water. I'm Jace, your Hernia Fitness Guy. I'll see you in the next one.